How to create inventory system in Godot. As you can see in my game, I've got an UI element in the top left corner. And that is my very simplified version of inventory. Or you could call it equipment. We can move around and it stays in the place. Or click tab to hide it and tap again to make it visible. But the most important part is that you can pick up elements and it adds to your inventory for the later use. And I've prepared one item that we can pick up right now. So let's move to the left. And it's here, this little key. When we move closer above our head, will appear an interaction event and after clicking E watch that this item will appear in our inventory and also it will disappear from the floor. Also to improve it we could add a sound effect while picking it up but you can see as the second item we've got the key that we've picked up before. Okay let's close this window and check how it's done. I've got a scene and in this scene I've prepared an asset where I've got 10 slots for the items in my game. Here is that asset and 3 possible items to pick. First is the flower one, key one and key two. And only one is visible at the start, just for debugging purposes. But when I turn the visibility on for other items, you can notice that they are all in the first slot. And to understand it, we need to jump to the script of our inventory. I've got three variables, first is the inventory where I've got the ID for my item, the same name was used here in the node structure, is inventory open, that's set to true, and should lock inventory open to false. There's not a lot of script here so don't be afraid, I'll try to explain it as simply as possible. Let's start with the opening and closing functionality. So if input is action press, tab, so when the player clicks tab, and also it shouldn't lock inventory open, I'm creating between and locking inventory open and this is to prevent player from spamming the tab button before the twin is finished and just to give the little debounce effect. So I'm setting it to true to prevent player from opening inventory and if the inventory is open I'm setting it to false and creating a twin that moves self which is the inventory above the current camera scope with minus 64 pixels and 0.2 seconds and if inventory isn't open, then I'm setting it to true and creating a twin that moves it down. Here's the line with the debounce that we've talked before. Get tree dot create timer 0.5 timeout and that will force the script to wait before we unlock the inventory open again with setting the lock to false. So that whole part covers the opening and closing our inventory. On player update inventory, this is a function that we trigger as a signal. So from any other place in our script we call a signal to trigger this function in inventory. And to this signal I'm only passing item ID and this item ID will be pushed to my inventory array with the items and after that I'm refreshing the inventory that is visible on the screen with a for loop here is the space between items I'm taking the nodes from the left so I need to have prepared sprite for every node I'm looking at the index in the array and adjusting the position to match the UI so here is the node that we have reference above I'm changing its position to vector 2 index times space between so if it's the item on the second position it will be multiplied by this space between items plus 10 and 10 again and those two are simply because we've got a little margin from the top and from the left and that is exactly 10 pixels from the top and 10 from the left so this refresh inventory item will update the ui of our inventory and also if we call print inventory and start the game let's collect the key and in the console we've got flower1 and key1 and that is the script representation of our current UI flower1 and key1 later you can use this inventory array as you like but the simplest version will be when you're interacting with an element like for example interacting with the door just look at the inventory if you have the proper key to open it and do the logic accordingly you can make it that only with a certain item in your inventory you'll be able to push objects and as the last thing I need to mention that the logic to pick up items is created like this. My character has an area that detects other area to denotes and when those two areas cross with each other then I know that my character is close enough 
to interact with other objects. And I've already created a tutorial about it, so make sure to check it out next. And let me know if you would be interested in a small tutorial series where I create a top-down RPG game from the scratch, together with you of course. So let me know in the comments. Thank you for your time and have a good day.